Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is all about getting your table set up when you're at those workshops. At least let me show you what works for me. We're, we come and we're so excited about these workshops, and we get excited, we, we empty our backpacks and boxes, and we put stuff all over the table, and we display everything we were brought from our studio. Don't do that. Let me show you what works for me. So in my studio and also my workshops, I paint on flat tables. I don't use easels because I paint so wet and I need my paintings to be flat so they don't start dripping all over the place, right? So I have my table set up. The first thing I do is I put this four mil plastic. You can get it at the hardware store. And I just make it large enough for the table and I tape it down really tight. So these kinds of tapes don't work. This doesn't work, it's not sticky enough. So I use these box tape or white artist tape. And on the table, I'm spreading out this plastic because it's also my palette. I do all my mixing right on the table. I don't have those little boxes and trays. You know, I'm just taping it all down nice and tight. This is the first thing you do when you get to a workshop. Don't spread the entire studio all over your table. Nice and tight, just like that. Nice, right? and one over here. Now I'm ready to go. So that's the best tape to use. This tape is so difficult for many of us to use. So I like the box tape or the white artist tape. And on that table, you only put on what's going to serve you for painting. I know one of the first things I've seen everyone do is they take their brushes and put them in little cans. Don't do that. They like to display all their brushes. Look at all these brushes I bought. How many brushes do you really use? Maybe two or three. But if you insist on putting your brushes in a can, I'm gonna suggest that you put three of them together, tape it apart, otherwise you know how, how easy that's gonna happen, right? Disturbing. So don't do that. So if you insist on bringing all your brushes, at least do it so it won't fall over. And on that table, I will have my Cobine paints. I have my Skin Safer, which is basically a hand barrier. Keep it clean. I have my paper towels. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna put most of the stuff on the right-hand side. Don't have them spread all over the place. Now look, I still have plenty of room for my paper. This is my watercolor paper. I've already put some gesso on it. That way the paint will act just like whether I'm working on a canvas or paper, the substrate is the same, it's the same gesso. That way I have longer working time too. Clean water, my buckets are low, not the really high ones, it's low so I can easily do this back and forth, back and forth. Right, that's very simple. And again, that's it. Don't have a lot of stuff all over, all over your table. Isn't it nice to have a whole table to spread out your paper and your canvases? So more room that way. Otherwise I get kind of claustrophobic. Any of these, this is workshop season. Everyone's traveling. You just saw my last video, how to travel and how to pack that suitcase. Now, once you get there, you open up your suitcase and you spread this plastic, this four mil plastic on top of the whole table. Make it nice and tight, bucket of water, and mostly come on in with a good attitude. That's what you gotta do. You're here to learn something new. So take many different workshops from different artists, people whose work you really, really like, right? And this is how I set up in the studio and also in the workshops when I travel all over the world. Hey, thanks again for watching. I hope this makes your beginning day in the workshops a lot more pleasant and less confusing, but keep that enthusiasm going. Hey, I'll see you at the next Bob Blast. Hey, painters. Have you ever felt like you just needed to give yourself some time out and just go away 
and paint just for you. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and let me tell you about one of my most favorite places to go and paint in Mexico. I was writing it all down in my journal, and I was reading it back to myself, and I said, you know, this really reads pretty well. I'd much rather read it to you as opposed to trying to remember. But this is all about me going down and doing a painting workshop for two, count them, two one-weekers back-to-back -back in one of my most favorite places, 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta, in, my, in our own casa, filled full of a bunch of artists, and the ocean is right there. Let me read you this script that I wrote. It's better than me trying to remember it, okay? Painting in this charming open air casa studio, overlooking the authentic fishing village 10 miles south of Puerto Vallarta in Mexico. Imagine every day creating in the art studio right on the Pacific coast of Mexico. Ah, that ocean breeze is wonderful, right? Welcome to one of my most favorite times in Latin America, Casa de la Artistas. Come and paint with me, beginners and experienced. Abstract acrylic painting and collage workshops, two, one weeks. Boy, boy, does this ever sound like an advertisement, right? Refresh your creative spirit. Immerse yourself in the Mexican culture while you stay and paint on the top floor of this casa and studio. We'll be painting a lot. This painting workshop emphasizes loose, expressive abstract techniques, creative tearing collage pieces, and paint splashing at the Casa's magnificent open air studio with the sweeping views. Boy, do, I ever, do we ever have sweeping views of the ocean and quaint village of Boca de Tamalan. This is my pancation for me. I hope it's also a pancation for you. Give yourself some time out and reserve your space now. I'll see you down there in Mexico. Hey, thanks for watching. Hi there, painters. Hey, have you ever wanted to meet Van Gogh and Vermeer? I do. Hey, I'm Bob Burridge, and welcome to my Holland Riverboat Cruise. I'm going to Holland. I cannot believe to do a workshop on a riverboat cruise. Nine days of a bliss and imagination and accommodations are spectacular. You know, I did this one in Paris, all the way up to Normandy and coming right back down again. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It was spectacular. I said, let's do this again, especially of the accommodation. The crew took care of us, the accommodations, the luxury, we're just so well taken care of. The foods, as you can well imagine, the excursions, the entertainment. There's a lot going on on those riverboat cruises, but look where we get to go. We get to go to Van Gogh Museums, Vermeer. We get to see all that history, incredible excursions through those castles, and we get to paint every day. And the meals, we actually hurry back to the lunches on the, on, on the cruise ship. It's a small riverboat cruise. Just for the meals, let me tell you, they take care of us. One of my favorite things, I'm looking forward to it. Riverboat cruises, that's where it's all happening. Small accommodations, educational especially. So you're gonna see a lot of museums, a lot of castles, and do a lot of painting time with me. I hope to see you there.